Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. Today I will be talking to you about Invits in India. Invits or Infrastructure Investment Trusts are investment vehicles which invest in yield generating operational infrastructure assets. Crystal believes that over the next two years, there will be a five-fold growth in the Invits assets in India. Till now, we have about 40,000 crores of assets in Invits, which we expect to grow to 2 lakh crores. Now, what is really driving this growth? Broadly, there are three uh, drivers for this growth. First, the enabling regulation. Recently, SEBI came out with change in some regulation, which allowed Invits to borrow more. Essentially, from 49% of their asset value, now they can go up to 70%. And to manage the risk, uh, SEBI requires that the AAA rating on these invits should be maintained. So essentially, the existing invits can borrow more money to acquire more assets. Also, the retail investors, their investment norms have been relaxed, which will largely get more retail investors to invest in invits. So apart from regulation, the other thing which is driving this growth is the demand from new sectors. Till now, the invits have been largely done by road assets, transmission assets, power transmission assets, and gas supply. Going forward, we expect that assets like assets in sectors like telecom infrastructure, in uh, renewable energy, airports, and ports will drive this growth, apart from obviously road and power transmission. The third reason for the growth in this invits is the fact that they remain one of the most attractive options for the developers and for the investors and lenders in Invits. For developers, this is a good option for them to monetize their operational assets and deleverage their balance sheets. And for investors and lenders, this is a fairly low risk opportunity which provides them steady return. The regulation requires that they cannot invest more than 10% in under construction assets. And also, they have to distribute at least 90% of their free cash flow to the investors. So therefore, for investors who are looking at steady return over a long period of time, Invits is a very good option. The class of investors who are looking at this would involve global pension funds and private equity investors, and even for retail investors. Certain investors like banks and insurance companies are still not investing in Invits. Also, retail investors are a bit apprehensive because the first two listed invits actually are trading below their original issue price. But we believe that going forward, enabling regulation and more investor awareness will lead to greater investment in these invits. Thank you all for listening. Do leave your comments below. Till then, goodbye.